I want to take just a few minutes to talk about a topic you may have heard me discuss before, which is the proposal to put tolls on our highways uh, here in Connecticut. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an idea that a lot of people I agree with otherwise uh, favor, but I am firmly against, and I want to explain why. Um, first of all, we currently receive over $200 million from the federal government each year for transportation needs broadly stated. It's kind of an allowance we get as a share of the federal gas tax, and we get that only on the condition that we don't have tolls on our highways. Um, if we put tolls on the highway, we lose that money. We also lose approximately $40 million that we get currently from interstate truckers who, even though they don't have to pay tolls in Connecticut, have to pay a mileage fee based on the logs that they turn in of travel through the different states. So something like a quarter billion dollars is coming to us already without us having to collect a dime in tolling. That would all disappear. We can recoup it in tolls, but it means that the first quarter billion dollars would just get us back to zero. On top of that, of course, there'd be the cost of installing uh, the tolling mechanism and the cost of the bureaucracy that would have to be established to collect the tolls. And remember, when we talk about out-of-staters who may not have the uh, easy pass or the transponders that uh, most people using living in a state that uh, tolls would have, um, that collection is not going to be easy. Somebody from Iowa that passes through Connecticut once and incurs a few dollars in tolling is likely to ignore our uh, paper notices uh, for many, many times. It would take quite a collection effort to get that money out of them. Um, of course, a lot of the premise behind tolling is that people from other states uh, pass through our state without having to pay anything, uh, whereas we have to pay when we go to uh, Massachusetts, New York, or any of these neighboring states. Of course, my own feeling is I like the fact that I only have to pay when I go to Massachusetts and New York, and I don't have to pay every time I come to Connecticut. Um, another thing I'd say is that although it might seem that the highways are full of out-of-staters, uh, the Department of Transportation itself says the maximum amount of out-of-state traffic uh, at any given time on Connecticut's highways is 25%. Um, I'd point out that the sales tax is collected 27% from people who live out of state. So uh, to my mind, it would make as much sense to increase the sales tax to get more money from out of state people as it would to uh, impose tolls. I guess the difference is when you pay the sales tax, you don't see out of state people paying it. If you stand in line at Walmart, uh, you don't know that the person ahead of you might be from Massachusetts. But when you're in traffic, you see that license plate and you know they're from another state. Um, you know, the, the final thing I'd say about it is that uh, people have a vision of how tolling could be put into place that would get the money from somebody else and not get it from them. Um, that's not what's going to happen. If we have tolls, the legislature will pass a bill authorizing the tolls and telling the Department of Transportation um, to go ahead and do it the way they want to do it. Um, if you want to know how the Department of Transportation would intend to do it, they put out a study in 2015. And that study said, first of all, we cannot just put the tolls at the borders. The federal government simply won't allow us to do it. Um, instead, what they propose doing is putting tolls on every limited access highway, not just 95 and 15 where they used to be, but not, and not just 91 and 84, but 72 and 8 and 9 and Route 2, um, everywhere you go. And th that plan talks talk specifically about having the stations to read um, either to photograph a license plate, which is one way to collect, or to electronically read the, the easy pass in the car, uh, to have such stations every four miles on those limited highways uh, to keep people from getting off and driving around them effectively. What I think is the most uh, alarming about that study was that they premise tolls in Connecticut. Uh, the models they have are based on either 10 cents a mile or 20 cents a mile of tolling. For comparison, the national average and the amount that Massachusetts charges in tolling is just four cents. Now, it's different when you go over a bridge. Federal government will give broad flexibility to a, a state to recoup its um, um, construction costs in a bridge. So I know we go over across the George Washington Bridge, I think it's $20 now. Um, but when we're talking, of, we'd, we wouldn't be doing that. We'd be putting a mileage charge all over the state. Take 20 cents a mile. Um, I drive from Southington to Hartford 
uh, to come up here to the Capitol, it's 20 miles. If I did that twice a day, five days a week, that would work out to over $2,000 a year. And that would be three times the cost that I'd pay for gasoline for that same trip. Tolls will be an expensive proposition. And if you support a vision of them, let me tell you, it won't, if, you, if we get them, it won't be the vision you have in mind. You'll be sorry you had them, in my opinion. I don't support them, and I don't intend to support them. I understand where people are coming from on them. I'd ask them to consider the facts that I've given you on this um, before, before you uh, continue in your support. Thank you very much for your attention.